You know, I love my grandma very much. And if I remember correctly, we have to put this little thing on the spindle there. And then I have to coil it around under this little thing there. And then it wraps it around there. Now it gets a little snug. And then I have it tightened right there. And it should... I remember it's supposed to tighten up on here. Let's see. I know we're supposed to wrap this around a few times and then put that underneath that little piece right there. Goes just like just like the picture shows right there. So we turn it on and we're supposed to move this that way. All right. Let's see if it goes. All right. There we go. Okay. Looks good. So while that's running up, so we had one here that we were doing the other scrims on. And uh, this one's just about to run out. I opened it back up because I'm opening this whole thing back up as um, I'm getting ready to do the bigger uh, totem scrims, uh, the truss scrims. So I'm going to go ahead and wind this up. I'm going to fill it up because we're going to use quite a bit of the uh, white threading to do our white scrims. Hope you guys can enjoy this one. Um, and then once that's done there, it's going to go inside here. We're going to And if you must know, this is a brother uh, XR1300 computerized sewing machine. And so we just unclipped it on this side and now we're going to drag it from that back slot and there's a little arrows there to tell you where it goes and then it, you roll it underneath here. You bring it this way and there is a little metal clip on the inside of that and we're supposed to get it on the opposite side where it hooks and now it's hooked inside okay and then we bring it back down and I may have to cut the camera off here for a second yep I'm gonna have to cut the camera off for a second but basically what we're gonna do is we're going to um, use this little lever it is going to help us get it through the thread see that little teeth in the back of the and it's going to push the thread through the needle and then we're going to put it through the plate here on the bottom and then it's just going to hang out loosely on the bottom and then we will put this bad boy is going to drop down inside and it's going to loop around the hook that you may not see under there and the thread is going to hang out loose over here so we'll have two loose threads off to this side in just a second all right so we have our two pieces of thread hanging out let's go ahead and put this plate over and we will get started now and also just to show you my receipt i did go to the joann's fabric to get my scrim if you need to see that on the other video I will post a link down in the description below this the, to get the correct fabric there is a three different types of fabric you want to make sure that you get the best quality possible um, I went ahead and went to Joann's and this is amount the length that I used is for a 10 foot truss totem and I got enough for two and it totaled out to be $50.97. I had a 60% off coupon, which took off $30.58. So it ended up being about 20 bucks. $20 of fabric, good quality, the best quality of scrim fabric that you can get for two 10 foot totems, 20 bucks. And then I bought a little thing. It was like a Hyper Perfect Heart something. It was on sale for $7.99. So forget about that. My price tag for the scrims was $20. And then some tax on there too. At Joann's. Alright. <clears throat> okay, so I got my 
my scrim laid out um, all the way out and when you go and purchase it it's going to be one sheet and you cut it to the length that you desire and guys excuse the mess here but um, I have something going on here I'm working with but um, so I have a lot of garbage all over the floor but anyways uh, there's going to be a line, it's a crease because when it's folded onto that piece of cardboard there's a crease um, where it's folded and when you purchase it you bring it back home that crease is kind of embedded from the shipping and there's a line in there I'm not sure if you can see that that line you can just flatten it out as best you can and what you want to do is you want to start where that line is at and you want to cut it and again um, yeah I don't have I was looking for my better scissors and I don't have them but anyways what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut all the way through here all the way down and follow that line as best I can as close as I can so I'm gonna shut the, the camera off and okay those were the worst pair of scissors um, I ever used but anyways I'm showing you here I'm about to go ahead and start sewing now what you want to do is there's gonna be one side that's gonna be a lot better looking than the other side this uh, I went ahead and look at it closely and I noticed so there's gonna be one side that's gonna have a light shimmer there's gonna be another side that's gonna have a heavier shimmer and look a lot nicer um, excuse me while I bounce the camera here so basically this is gonna be the part that's gonna be the inside of the truss that's gonna to be touching the truss this part is gonna be the outside that's gonna be visible to your guests so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew it like this all the way down the seam like this and then once I'm done uh, I'll turn it inside out so this side will be exposed oops this side will be exposed this is the nicer side there is going to be one side that's going to look a lot better than the other side and this side is going to be a lot nicer so we're going to go ahead and start sewing here the trick with this type of fabric it's not a static type fabric what I mean by it stays put um, a slight little tug a slight little nudge here and there as you weave it through underneath the uh, the sewing um, can start to stretch it and warp it a little bit here and there and it'll get offline very easily um, so you have to kind of go a few inches make sure you line the seams together go a few inches make sure you line the seams together you kinda have to baby it as you go along so it's not like regular fabric you could just sew and just keep pushing through like grandma used to do you have to uh, you have to take your time with it go a few inches and you have to keep an eye make sure everything's even so that way you have a nice even sew all the way through alright we're gonna go ahead and get started with that now let's see here kinda moved slightly off just a little bit there <clears throat> and there it goes it's kind of difficult to get even kind of want to get it even as possible um, just underneath the, the little flap there have it right underneath there and then just go ahead and let's see where I'm at here and just let that down oops there we go and then we'll just go ahead and get it started and we'll just go a little bit at a time we're gonna go lightly so um, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go up one and then I'm gonna stop right there and then we're gonna go ahead and reverse it so it's gonna come back again oh you guys can't see that huh I just noticed that sorry about that so you kinda wanna go forward and back real quick just to kinda reverse it just make sure that the ends are nicely sewn and they got um, a good amount of um, uh, coverage of thread in there so that way it doesn't break uh, during the stretching over the trussing so now once we've done that we're just going to go ahead and start uh, sewing it all the way through and what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to go ahead and start picking up the pace a little bit but I'm going to keep my eye on it and then um, I'm going to shut off the camera right now so that way I can finish this and I'll show you the end project alright so we come to the end of it I went and did a haul 10 feet and we're going to go ahead and put this up, pull the thread out, and cut it with the little blade in the back over here. So we have those two loose pieces there still. So we just sewed, and this was the, uh, I guess you could say the less glamorous part is on this side. And so you see the little flaps kind of sitting there. 
we're going to fold it and this is going to be the nice part that we're going to have on the outside. So I'm going to go ahead and unfold that real quick. Okay again, excuse the mess. Um, so here's one that's not uh, sewn yet and this is the one that we just sewed and we turned it inside out or I turned it inside out and it's ready to go on a truss. So there it is right there. Alright again, excuse the mess. Guys. Okay guys, so um, the ones over here are the 10 foot ones. The ones over here are the 6 foot ones. Um, like I told you, uh, kind of in a transition, I sold probably a total of four different trusses already. Uh, no, actually, you know, I take that back. I sold six. Wait, one, two, three, four. Two went to Joey. Two went to Amid. And then two. Yep, so I sold a total of six of them already. Um, so I had ten and I had to sell six. I know it's sad. But anyways, uh, those ones are the tens. I'm not going to get on a ladder and um, try to fit it right now, but this is this one was made for the tens. I'm just going to test it out and see how it looks on the six real quick, and we're just going to kind of give it a little test. Um, it looks good so far. I'm giving it a pull from the bottom, and it's, uh, it's coming out pretty good. And let's just keep giving it a pull. See how it works out. It's working out great. Nice and snug. All the way through and through. It fits like a glove, so it's look like it's tested well. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. It looks like it fits really good. Yeah, you guys can see that. So that's pretty much it. Um, we are done. And so now I got my tens. Um, I already had the sixes made. Made some other ones for the other guys that I sold the other trusses to. And um, hopefully this helps you guys out. Maybe you can make some for yourself if you happen to be interested in, you know, making some for yourself. Um, so that's it. Um, love and respect all people and all things living. I hope this video helped somebody out. If it did, if you did like it, uh, the idea or the tip, uh, go ahead and like down at the bottom. And or uh, comment down below. Um, if you have any questions, uh, maybe I can shoot you some answers. Um, hope this helped you out. But that's basically two uh, truss uh, scrims for 20 bucks. Uh, get your coupon online. All right. Uh, take care. Love and respect all people and all things living. I wish you guys the best. Take care. Yeah, I see you. I'm right here. <laughs> oh boy, that feels good. You ready? Come here. Come here. Come here. I want to see you. We'll wait right here. Here it comes. <laughs> Good. Oh boy. Hurry, hurry, clear. Oh boy, that feels good. Yeah. Oh.